Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Efficient Design series in Kerbal Space Program 0.24.2. And in this episode, I hope to bring my little orbital vehicle, the reusable system, over to Minmus. And since Minmus's gravity is much less than that of the moon, and getting into orbit and landing on it is so much simpler, I'm hoping to actually get it on the ground on Minmus. I think the math works out for this. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't actually tested it, obviously, uh, so uh, hopefully we'll have enough fuel. Otherwise, we'll just have to rescue the Kerbal, obviously, uh, so that will be the plan. But I do have some science left over from the previous mission to the moon, and I intend to spend some of it here. And the first thing is solar panels. <laughs> we, we need solar panels, yes. Uh, there's no real point unlocking more science because the barometer is not going to be useful on Minmus and there's nothing else in uh, in plain sight. Some of these small engines would be really important but now that I've unlocked uh, the solar panels I don't have enough science for them. Um, no need for wheels. I wanted the flat probe core. I just need to check whether well some of these uh, I mean struts of course but I'm, uh, for the system I'm using right now I don't need struts so we can just keep it to the way it is right now, but the flat probe core could be useful for unmanned missions in the future and that could be critical. So let's pick that up. Okay, so let's go to Minmus and see how much science we can get from there provided a landing. Now I'm going to use the same system. I'm not going to try and innovate it. I'm not going to try and add any science except for the thermometer maybe. Uh, the goo containers will probably be too heavy. At least I, I'm not too eager to find out whether that's going to be true or not. Um, no need for a ladder. Yeah, not that we have one. Uh, we have the mobility enhancers, but no ladder. Uh, because Minmus's gravity is so low, but we did want to slap on some solar panels uh, because not having any is a little bit dodgy. And maybe we can remove one row of of those batteries and get some more solar panels on. And that should cover us. Yeah, I think that'll be more than enough. Um, four parachutes. That's, that's quite a lot. Uh, I'll still go with it. Uh, it's a little bit expensive, but we're bringing it back, so it's not going to cost us too much. Just the distance from the KSC, really. So, uh, yeah, so this should be okay. Not a tremendous increase in our costs. Uh, this time, uh, this time let's hire some new Kerbals. How about that? I think we need uh, at least two new Kerbals to uh, conduct this mission instead of the normal crew. So, does hiring Kerbals cost money? Let's find out. Uh, Milner Kerman, lots of courage, lots of stupidity. That's the kind of stats we like. Desert Kerman, yep. And, uh,. And uh, lots of courage, a little bit less stupidity. Jorvi Kerman, okay. Uh, these guys don't seem to have the right stuff here. Uh, we'll uh, maybe for for science heavy missions, some of these guys will be a little bit better. Uh, Nedin Kerman and uh, Urbas Kerman, but uh, we're we're still on the daring do here. So let's uh, just get these three and uh, see if. Well, let's go with. Well, these two are equally courageous, so let's actually do a mix. Jorvi and Desric. Let's go with. Uh, you know what? I have brought them out to the launch pad, but I forgot to check whether we have any outstanding contracts that would allow us to explore Minmus. Let me quickly check on the available contracts to see if we can do that. Aha! So we can explore Minmus, so let's get that. Yes, uh, achieve orbit. Uh, we could probably do all of these, maybe. And uh, we get a huge advance. Completion is quite remarkable. Uh, failure is not going to happen. So, yes. Science data from around Kerbin. Really? That's, that's all? Fine. Uh, we aren't anywhere near the skipper, and uh, so I'm not going to test that out just yet. We don't even have tanks to attach it to. Plant a flag on the moon. Well, if we got that for Minmus, I would be able to do that right away. We're not rescuing anybody just yet. Um, Duna Ike, I'll leave for... 
I mean, it says expire never, so I'm in no hurry. I like the test small gear bay orbiting curb, and that suggests we need a space, a space plane, don't we? So that'd be interesting. Uh, what are the stars for? I hope they don't mean that these are the difficulty level, because, you know, some of these... Explore Duna is not that hard, actually. Anyway, but uh, technicalities, I mean, test Rocket Max Poodle Liquid Engine Orbiting Kerbin is trivial. But, anyway, so, uh, yeah, we've got the contract I wanted, so let's get back out to the launch pad. Alright, so here we go, uh, armed with contracts, uh, armed with cash, though we spent a little bit of it. Uh, we got the advance. Um, oh boy, I need to fix staging here. Uh, I really need to remember to do that in the file that I saved, otherwise I'm gonna have a tragedy eventually. Um, don't know which one Jorvi and Desric are each in. Uh, Desric is on top. Okay, so Desric is the one that's going to uh, Midmus. They both look okay. Uh, we've got our cache. Thrall is up. SAS is on. Let's go. So last time I think I was a little bit slow in uh, flattening out, so I'll try and fix that this time. Funny, uh, Jorvi is looking worried, and actually Desric has gotten a little bit uh, serious now as well. I thought these guys were high on the courage, but uh, they look quite grim. I hope in point two five they at least make those stats meaningful. I think, I think uh, Kerbal character development might be an interesting feature to have in point two five. It'd fill out uh, a much needed part of the game in terms of, uh, of course, uh, we ascribe the lots of characteristics to the Kerbals without any prompting from the game itself, but. And but, uh, but I think uh, some relevance to those stats might be worthwhile. Oh, I need to target Mimus. There is an inclination... Oh, not the moon. There is an inclination with Mimus. So I want to make sure that I can correct that. Uh, we are sort of approaching one of the nodes. You can see the line here. So maybe I can do some of a correction start on that. So to correct it you can see the the marker for the opposite direction to the to Minmus and so I'm going to lean on this side 180 degrees away from it. Just a little bit not too much and don't overdo it. And I've got to rotate a little bit quicker than I did last time. Okay, I think that should be enough of inclination adjustment. Let's see. Oh, still got 3.4 degrees to go. Better to do it now than with a separate inclination adjustment. There is one flaw, of course, and that's with returning this portion to the ground. It, uh, as Kerbin rotates, it won't be able to return back to the KSC very easily. So yeah, that is uh, that is an issue. And now we can't change the inclination anymore, so we should just focus on the prograde vector and keep our apoapsis limited. That's good enough. We're pretty much done with these outer tanks, and that oh yes we are, and that's that's according to plan. So we'll do the rest of the burn here. We can probably help our Minmus mission out by doing some of it. We don't need to. Uh, we can probably keep this in on, in the atmosphere actually. So let's uh, continue burning. And 
and instead of aiming at the blue marker I'm just going to aim at the horizon. It's not good to aim below the horizon. Remember we separate the missions and bring them into orbit separately but not during this phase. Okay I think, uh, I think that'll do. Alright, let's separate the missions. Well, okay, let me give it a little bit of a thrust. I don't want to take as much fuel out from the Minmus mission because I want to land it. Okay, and... Here we go. Okay, same trick as before. We won't get into orbit just yet, but we need to deal with the other mission. And it's too far away for us to switch like that, so switch to. Alright, and here's Jorvi Kerman, and let's get him into orbit as well. Should be good. Alright. Should have put solar panels on this one too. And we can burn that apoapsis now. And with the fuel we have left, it looks like I didn't do a very good job of managing it. I might have to. Well, we'll see. I might have to keep the periapsis in the atmosphere to make sure to bring him back down. Otherwise, we might not have enough fuel to do a retro burn. We'll see. Okay, well, that's as much as I dare, I think. Will that catch us? I don't think so. I think it might bring our apoapsis down a bit, but not much. I think that'll be safe. I hope I'm right about that. Let's switch to the other part of this mission, the more important part, if you will. So, Desrick uh, pushing on to Minmus, and let's see where we're at. No, no position for a direct transfer, let's just get into orbit. And so I'll add a maneuver at Apoapsis. Okay. That looks good. We've used a lot of fuel already. If it looks like we're uh, we're a little bit too tight on fuel, I I might nix the landing. We'll see. Okay, uh, back to the other one. So with the main mission in orbit, we are going to take SAS off so we don't lose electric charge anymore, and we are going to go around to our periapsis and see where that leads us. I don't know how much drag we're going to get uh, dipping below 70 here. Though uh, if the apoapsis goes low that's, that's probably a good thing because we don't have too much by way of fuel. So if we could just neatly get us to to the KSC that'd be nice. I mean that'd be awful convenient but I doubt that's going to happen. Well, we've passed ap uh, per past periapsis, sorry, and but since we're still in the atmosphere, apoapsis is still descending, but not not really into any number that I would be worried about. Okay, so I believe I overshot before, and so maybe retro burning early would be better, but it really depends on how much fuel I have, and I might not have enough fuel to drop it much at all. We'll see. We're not very high. Okay. At the very least, I would like to hit land this time. But if we overshoot, there's uh, not much fuel for me to use to correct that. 
I, I guess I'll just burn out the fuel right now. It's better to do it now than later. Oh, that's the end of that fuel. We can use SAS. I've got enough electric charge, I think. And this needs to be stabilized because otherwise we'll be heading wrong end first through the critical part of the atmosphere. And we don't want that. Jorvi looks thrilled. I don't think he knows what... Why was he so worried? Maybe he's just used to other other people playing Kerbal that uh, he was more worried about launch than return. No, my, my launch vehicles are pretty good, Jorvi. It's just, uh, it's the coming back part that's a little bit trickier. Ground is pretty dark now. Okay, uh, don't do physical time warp through the part where everything is looking hot. Yeah, we... Do we pass north or pass south? Can't really see. Well, we're over water now. Let's hope it's not too far away. Aiming for an A minus this time. I, I really hope we get an A minus. Is this the island runway island? I think we're on the opposite side. Can't really see the island runway. Well, this uh, this portion has not increased in mass at all. We used all the fuel, so so it should be all right. Uh, last time it was all right. We're landing on the same terrain. Let's just hope uh, Kerbal Space Program agrees with that logic. Okay, parachutes are open. Velocity is down below eight meters per second. Jorvi looks confident. And splash down. And before it goes all Falcon 9, let's recover. Okay, so uh, of that, uh, we got up, uh, got an A minus, 91.3%. And uh, we got uh, oh, almost 30,000 funds back. So that's good. That's good. Boosted our thing. Joey Kerman is back. Got a little bit of reputation for that. Now let's handle the the difficult part, if you will. Though Minmus is hardly difficult, but we have to bring him back with uh, with everything intact. So that's a little bit trickier. I have not done that before. I don't think. I I think I always dump something along the way to Minmus. But anyway, uh, let's let's take a look. I mean, under normal circumstances, you wouldn't want to carry any sort of heavy tanks all the way down to Minmus' surface, and you could land on Minmus with a much lighter engine than this. This is uh, overkill for Minmus by a long way, unless you've got a really heavy craft. Um, you know, maybe we're close enough to uh, position to transfer. Let's see. Okay, that's too much. Uh, come on. There we are. Let's just start burning now. I think that'll do just fine. Off we go. Desric Kerman. Too bad we didn't get a plant the flag on in this, uh... I mean, uh, there was a plant the flag on the moon challenge, but not a plant the flag, the flag on Minmus, so... That's that's a shame because we're we're aiming to do that. Oh, fuel doesn't look too bad. Look at that, plenty of fuel left. Okay, since I did it a little bit differently than the maneuver node, I have to be a little bit careful here. Okay. Looks good to me. I think that's a satisfactory encounter. Uh, I did deliberately did it at the uh, descending node, so I hope that our inclination with respect to Minmus doesn't end up too bad. That was my goal to make minimize that. 
Okay, so uh, we are on our way. No extension of solar panels because these are the flat ones that are always out. And uh, perhaps we can keep SAS on without draining the batteries too much. Off we go. Uh, looks like we're coming in a little bit low, actually. I mean, not as horrible as numerous other inclinations with respect to uh, Minmus, but still gonna be... Okay, and... Let's see... Still gonna be a little bit inclined, but not bad, not bad. Let's keep it to that. Let's find a maneuver node. Okay, 271. Shouldn't be a problem. And that's in two minutes. There's Minmus. Everybody's favorite mini moon. I hope. I hope there aren't any Gilly Bopper Paul fans that might be offended by that, but I think Minmus. Come on. It's Minmus. This got biomes. Okay, Desric, uh, you're getting a good kick out of this, but I think while we're still high over Minmus, you should probably do an EVA. Okay, 32 points for that. Very good. Please bring that back home safely. Okay. Desric very serious during the orbital burn. Either Desric is very businesslike in his uh, maneuvers, or or else he has no idea what's going on. Oh, this wasn't a very good indicator. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's not what we want. This this must look a little bit thin to you. That's just an optical illusion. Crashing into Minmus is not a tragedy. It's, uh, it's not even a huge thing. We're going at uh, 30 miles an hour here or so. I don't think we're in any sort of danger, but yeah, I think uh, right here, we'll do the rest of our burn to get all the way down. So, come on. Oh, uh, well, I mean, yeah, I guess we should do orbital science first. All right, uh, we'll, we'll drop the orbit to uh, to get other orbital science. How low do we have to be around Minmus to get the EVA reports? I don't remember. Let's make sure we don't overburn here. Yeah, that's pretty good already. Okay. So, we've got a nice inclination to work with. Deseric. I'm saving the crew report for the surface, so let's just get EVA reports. I know there's a trick to getting around the limitations, but we're not going to do that. Minmus's slope. Keep data. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can uh, pull the crew report out and then, uh, and then stow it, and then you can do another crew report, but... I don't want to do that because clearly it was meant to be that we only have one crew report. I don't know why that is, but it was clearly for balancing issues, so I'm not going to try and manipulate things. Okay, let's try it again here. Still the slopes. Uh, oh right, uh, cancel reset experiment board. Well, these don't look like slopes, right? This isn't a slope. Come on, highlands. Lowlands, even. Okay, keep data. And here. More lowlands. They look pretty high to me, but okay.
How about this valley here? Is that Lowerlands? I know there's no Lowerlands biome, don't worry. Uh, I was just uh, musing. Well, this 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 very dark patch, surely that's a highland of some sort, or midland. Highlands, yes, keep data. We need to uh, get to Mimis's sad excuses for seas. Also known as... not the slopes. Um, Come on, are we over them yet? Also known as the flats, and in this case the greater flats. Keep data, board. This is definitely a greater flat, very flat indeed. These are probably slopes here. Is this a separate thing over here or not? That I don't know. That's very much a lesser flat, if anything. Midlands, okay. I'll take that. Let us continue. We've got some more flats to do, surely. But I can't see them. Hmm. Well, whatever it is here, let's get an EVA report about it. Oh, we're in space high. Well, that's that's uh, interesting. We've got that already. So let's aim for the greater flats. That'll be easy to remember, and clearly, clearly distinct. And I mean for landing, of course. No, not getting any luck with uh, trying to find more flats. So. Maybe we're at the wrong inclination for that. Bet this is the lowlands. Yep. All right. I think uh, I think it's uh, I think it is time to make a landing here. So, uh, Greater Flats is over here. Oh, we're not exactly in the in the right inclination for that. We could change that. Change the inclination around. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, changing inclination around Minmus is a trivial thing. Hopefully it won't jeopardize my ability to bring him back, but I doubt it. Let's hover a little bit. Yeah, let's go like that. That gives us a nice long stretch. Yeah. Alright. Very good. And I will trust that the flats are flat and therefore not high in altitude. Experience has suggested such a thing. Okay, Tezric, it's time to do this thing. Desiree, how high do you think this is? Yeah, it looks like it's a sea level sort of deal. Or even below sea level. Okay. Desiree is on the ground. Didn't take too much fuel, thankfully. And so let's first do the thermometer reading. Okay, we intend to recover it. Greater flats, keep the data. Crew report. Okay, great. Crew assessment, only 25 points. I'm a little bit depressed by that, but that's better than nothing. And EVA. Now, Desric, under no circumstances should you knock over your pod. There is not much gravity here, and it's probably not that hard. Okay, come on. Just just fall to the ground. And yes, very good. Very graceful. Uh yeah, let's let's just go for it. 
plant that flag. All right. Desric on, uh, let's say, at the greater flats. My tradition of using today's date, very good. And uh, anything impressive to say, Desric? Hmm. Not really. If you can't think of something clever to say, don't say anything at all. Take surface sample. Uh, you sneak a taste of the surface sample. Nope, it definitely is not made of delicious dessert products. Okay, recovery. I, I still wonder how he manages to get the sample through his helmet. Certainly we can be sure that none of the... Well, anyway, let's not go there. Uh, you feel a bit like a superhero when you jump in low gravity. Very much so. Keep data. Uh, this might not be advisable. Can you get that? Yeah, let's just uh, let's just keep it gentle there. Uh, could you? Right. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Right. Yes. Yes. No. Let's line up here. Forward, forward, up, up, up. Remember what I told you about knock knocking into the pod? Right. Come on. There we go, that looks lined up. There you go. Alright, so all back in. Everything is in inside okay time to go home definitely time to go home now we're at a pretty high latitude uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem to uh, make a orbit that can get back home easily it's yeah it's it's pretty close to the equator I don't think it should be a problem uh, high inclination orbits are a little bit trickier but this is okay let's uh, go straight for 90 then Desric Hope we haven't forgotten anything, cause because we'd have to send somebody else to fetch it. Okay, gear up. No gear up. Come on. Okay. That should get us to a very high apoapsis. Well, I mean, high enough. Well, we're not going to have too much spare fuel to uh, pick our landing spot once we get back to Kerbin, so we're just going to have to return wherever we return and hope that... I mean, in theory, you can time it properly, but I, I'm not going to do that. Uh, based on how long it takes and uh, the rotation period of Kerbin itself. Check out which side is what. So for instance, I guess, okay, uh, uh, let's say I was going to, tr well, no, let me get into orbit first before I start talking about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. That'll do. Now, as I was saying, can we... Right. So, right now it's the dark side, right? So, uh, it's going to be in the dark anyway, isn't it? Because uh, if Minmus was over here on this side of the orbit, then when we land, we'd be landing on the light side. But our main goal is to land... Uh, when the KSC is, you know, where our landing spot will be, and this is about right, I think. Uh, I think this is the peninsula, and then this is the Africa-shaped continent here. So yeah, so what we're looking for is a transit time that is a multiple of six hours, because then Kerbin will just rotate uh, fully 
and so uh, we'll be all right. But but we really can't do very fine details because if we if we try and do anything too picky, we are not going to. No, I don't want to switch to that. Can I focus on Mimus again? Yes. Um, we're just gonna run out of fuel then. So we can't be too picky because we don't have a lot of fuel to decide exactly what time we want to arrive. <laughs> a moon encounter! Ooh, that might be too ambitious. Yeah, I don't think so. So multiple is six hours. Can we get to two, two days exactly? Maybe. Well, I mean, close enough. So maybe we'll land close to the KSC. It'll be in the dark though, so it's not gonna be easy to tell. Um, that's a little bit too deep. And that's too shallow. That's probably good enough. All right. Ah, quite a lot of fuel left, actually. You know, that last little bit counts for quite a lot. Gonna go with 24 kilometers. I think that will definitely bring us down. Okay. Desric, sort of looking all right. Got a lot of uh, science to bring home, Desric. Make sure you don't mess up. Really, it's only the parachutes left now, but you know. Was this the? Uh, Advertised direction? I think I might have made a mistake here. Let's see. First and most important thing, Orient. Oh no, uh, well, okay, I was a bit off. There's the KSC. Well, about an hour off, I think. One sixth of the planet. Yeah. Hmm. Is there any way we could wait around? Probably not. There goes the orbit. Look at that. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get better than a B minus on this one. G forces should have been pretty mild. Uh, they're actually increasing, so that means that uh, we hadn't even reached our peak, and so uh, under four G's. I'm gonna start burning retrograde now, and that is because I want to minimize the mass of this. Oh heck, we've got plenty of parachutes. You know what? I'll, I'll just keep the fuel. Fuel costs money too, you know, folks. I usually dump it because it doesn't cost that much money, but hey, we've got the parachutes. I think we can land with all of it safely. What's our mass, anyway? Three tons. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, SAS off. Landing gear down, I think. Yes? No? There we go. And parachutes. Parachutes. Okay, parachute deployment successful. Desiric is a little bit more serious in this phase than his compatriot. Okay, parachutes open. 4.6 meters per second is uh, safe and we should be over water I believe. So, 
No worries, let's just time warp to the ground, or to the surface. Deseric is fine. Could have done some science around Kerbin in order to fulfill that, but I, uh, there was a contract for that, but mm, this is paused right now. Hey, hello. Game froze for me for a sec. Um, but yeah, we'll do that in a separate mission that's uh, dedicated to more of the contracts. We need to catch up on doing st uh, some part testing and those types of contracts to make some some funds, some cash, some credits, whatever you like. Because we want to build bigger things. And with Desric's uh, input, thanks to uh, the science he is bringing home, we will be able to make bigger things. And we can look forward to that. So we need to fulfill some contracts to have the, the funds to do that. Okay, that's it. Don't tip. You know, honestly, the the recover vessel thing is sort of cheaty. <laughs> I mean, uh, and uh, you probably shouldn't get all the all the credits back if it tips over like that. At least we find that out with uh, Falcon Nine. If it tips over, it's done for. You know. But anyway, uh, 560 science, excellent, best mission so far. Nothing like milking Minmus for science. Uh, that uh, Scott Manley does, of course, but but I am satisfied. Uh, parts? Oh darn, a D. Ugh, how horrible. Okay, well, uh, anyway, uh, thanks to the massive contract that we fulfilled, I think we don't have to worry too much. I mean, lots of check marks. Uh, we got uh, everything to do with exploring Minmus is done, so no worries. Yep. We're uh, good on the funds. And of course, Desric returned back home, getting diminishing returns on the reputation for that. I'm not too sure I like that. It's like uh, their lives are somehow cheaper after you've done plenty of missions. Well, anyway, uh, I am not going to test how far the reputation drops if they fail to come back. That is not something I want to find out. All right. So, on that note, with Desert Kerman successfully fulfilling a mission to Minmus, bringing back tons of science with a completely reusable vehicle, uh, I think this is time to wrap up, uh, wrap up. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.